Arkansas catfish farmers must find ways to be more efficient in order to stay in business. This used to be a common sight across much of East Arkansas, the seining or harvesting of a farm-raised catfish pond, but now not so much. As recently as five years ago, there were 32,000 water surface acres of catfish ponds in the state. As of January, that had dropped to around 9,700, a 70% decline. The state still ranks third nationally in catfish production, but high feed costs and commodity prices for row crops led many catfish farmers to put that acreage back into crops. Barry Kane is one of the fewer than 100 catfish farmers remaining in Arkansas. He has 500 water acres in 80 ponds south of McCrory. He says becoming more efficient and saving on energy costs is a big reason he's still in business. I think efficiency is the key and uh, uh, going more to electric aeration away from diesel powered. The diesel is a big part of our costs and uh, of course electricity is too but we get more bang for our buck with electricity. Another factor is that the price farmers are now receiving for their fish has risen to around $1.25 per pound, which compensates somewhat for the higher cost of production. Kane is a member of the Catfish Farmers of America board and says consumers need to know the steps local farmers are taking to raise a healthy product. These uh, fish are raised in enclosed ponds with well water pumped into them. They're fed feed that's manufactured uh, here in the south with corn, soybeans, vitamins, and it's a very healthy uh, feed that's being fed to them and uh, high in protein. The consumer may not be aware of uh, what we're providing and any um, enlightenment that we can give them will uh, be good and if the more they understand uh, U.S. farm raised catfish and uh, the protocols and so forth that are gone through for them to be raised, the better they'll appreciate the product. Kane says taking advantage of research in feed formulation and switching from channel to hybrid catfish, which grow more quickly and don't require as much feed, is one step some farmers are taking. Also, modifying their operations to the new split pond approach is helping other catfish farmers keep the industry alive in Arkansas.